Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Online Satsang. This satsang is a meeting, an opportunity for everyone to ask their questions, clear their doubts, and discuss the spiritual matters. And this is also a part of the program, the Path of Knowledge program. Problem. Pratip is asking, why for a seeker being unrelated in a relationship is the natural way? What do you mean by unrelated in the relationship? If you are unrelated, then there is no relationship already. Are you saying that uh, why it is natural for a seeker to not be in any relations? Then uh, it is natural because a seeker is totally detached most of the time and uh, there is a attitude of friendliness only. That is the only relation that they like because the other relations are just transactional give and take. A, se- a seeker simply likes to give, not take, and therefore the relations do not exist for a seeker. It's all friendly attitude towards everybody, even for the people who don't like them. And uh, mostly because of detachment, there is avoidance of people. Instead of being with people, they want to be left alone. And because of knowledge, we know that there are no people. So it is kind of meaningless to get involved with people if it is not necessary if it is necessary it happens and because of the knowledge we know that uh, everyone is my form so if you and me are one no relation is possible it takes two to relate so there are all these reasons plus there are purely practical reasons like uh, you are on a spiritual path and almost 90 percent of the worldly people they don't like it they don't want their uh, son, daughter, wife, husband to be in that kind of lifestyle. It is incompatible with the worldly lifestyle. So there is a natural uh, uh, avoidance. There is a natural breaking of such artificial relations. What are the natural relations for a seeker? Love and friendliness, compassion and so on. And uh, the most negative relation that somebody seeker can have with anybody is of uh, indifference we don't worry too much about such people one day i was talking about this kind of thing and somebody asked that we need to operate in the world and what kind of relation we should have with people and uh, the best thing to do with strangers mostly is to have a transactional relation give them whatever they want and then have no other personal things with them, nothing to do do with them. Because first, they don't understand what you are. And second, they will become a problem in your seeking, in your practices. So this should be the bottom uh, line here, that with the worldly people, your relation should be transactional, which, which means give and take, without any attachments. With other spiritual seekers, friendliness and love, that's all. No other relation is possible. Parthiv is saying, but outside world isn't familiar. That's why I'm saying they only know how to take or give. Give and take. You do this much for me, I do that much for you. Right from your shopkeeper to your life partners, they know only this much. So, you need to meet them where they are. If you try to be compassionate and giving and giving and they will they will not understand and, they, and some people will simply misuse your compassion. Some people will think you are stupid and so the practical way is to simply meet them where they are. To be like worldly person when it comes to interaction with the worldly person and have nothing to do with them. If you really want a relation, choose somebody who is spiritual and is of the same path as you are. That is what I found as the solution for this. You need to interact with the people, cannot avoid all of them. You can avoid 90% of them, but there are some, your boss and whatever. You need to uh, interact with them all the time. So your boss demands demands work, you need money, it's a transactional relation. So everything is like this for the worldly people. And uh, if you want a relation, pick a spiritual person. But the problem is the spiritual person will not want a relation. So ultimately you end up with no relations. That is the natural way. You are related to everybody. It's called unconditional love. You are related to everybody unconditionally. And you do whatever is needed 
practically this is how to handle people do not try to fix them do not try to force them into spirituality do not lecture them or teach them just give and take and then have no other business i have seen people try to fix others not only that they try to fix the entire city and country and world also that is not possible and we should not do it it is perfect as it is some people say that i'll become a guru so that i can liberate people i can enlighten people no it's not possible also you can become guru and offer your service only this much is possible you become available for somebody they, if they call you guru yes no problem but you cannot um, teach anybody it's not possible to teach anybody they come to you with some questions and problems and whatever you need to answer only this much is possible those who are ready the grasp the knowledge you need to be simply available there and nothing else should be done with these people even with the seekers nothing else is required beyond this ajit is saying in the path of knowledge what is the birth of a baby symbolize it is not symbolic it is an event in the illusion it is very perceptible not symbolic we do not attach any symbolism to it on the path of knowledge it is simply the illusion that is appearing as a baby there is no hidden meaning in that as far as i am concerned yes some people will attach many things to it but no it is just an event like any other illusory event birth of a baby is also illusion mother is illusion the baby is illusion the father is illusion nothing has really happened so what to symbolize now i know people are not going to like it <laughs> that means they have some kind of attachment and uh, what should we do when a baby is born take care of the baby become a good parent in the illusion be the illusion don't tell the baby that you are an illusion they won't understand it they will simply cry so feed them protect them let them grow up if they are inclined towards knowledge just give them knowledge otherwise let them live the ordinary life rajit is asking how to deal with mind attacks where the mind wants to go back to the old is there any specific purification process or we just have to withstand it it is very simple whatever happens in the mind become a witness become aware of it if you call it an attack something is already wrong there that means there is no awareness there is no attack in the mind the mind does not attack anybody there is no no one to attack there is no person there also it is just mental activity and it is just the habit which uh, is being repeated same activity is being repeated circular activity vritti all you need to do is become aware of it no specific purification is required yes to prevent this kind of attack in future you can adjust your uh, lifestyle a little, little bit check why is this happening there has to be some memory there which is causing this and then do not do anything of uh, similar nature do not repeat the mistakes because of which your condition has become like this and whatever past impressions are there they are going to express themselves and you need to witness them in a friendly manner in loving manner if you fight with it that is more activity only awareness is the solution not processes not uh, more activity not more practice no that will never work only awareness has the power to dissolve the old nothing else so i have told you many things like forgiving and serving and all these things they are applicable for the self also self means this illusory individual you need to forgive that individual also for whatever it has done or it thinks i have done usually knowledge takes care of these things so we do not do all these procedures but in some cases where the awareness has not appeared and the person is suffering i do recommend some things some uh, rituals but normally if you are on the path of knowledge you should get the awareness immediately just after self realization you should be established in the awareness and if the mind is impurities are troubling there will be some time lag there will be a gap and then it becomes necessary to perform some practices 
and that is what we do on the step number four it should happen naturally the awareness should be there naturally because as a result of the knowledge but because of the impurities no it slips so we push it a little bit push the awareness using practices so that will help rajit as soon as you are, you get to the step number 4 you will be given the practices and if that also even the practice is not possible then we have the step number 5 of purification only then we recommend purification otherwise not my suggestion to rajit is you know change your language make it friendly make it friendly there is no mind which attacks nobody to attack and uh, nobody is with, withstanding it you see if you change your language that alone is enough to purify many things as soon as you say i am angry because of my past events and because this person did this to me and uh, now i need to take revenge and all and then you say oh mind is do my mind is doing this and it is attacking me and it is negative this language is like fuel in the fire of the mind so what do you do you change the language like this that there is mental activity now i am witnessing it it is of this kind it is anger it is happening i am looking at it i know why it is happening it is because of my own mistake you see instead of finding the fault in others accept my mis- your own mistake and then you say it's okay it's fine this is how it should happen this is how it, this thing the layered structure should react you see change your language to the language of knowledge instead of language of ignorance you will immediately see the effect that whatever is happening will simply fall apart it will go away it will dis- it will disappear what will remain will be the peace of awareness that will remain forgiving will happen and if you continue like this then uh, the old tendencies will be erased they will be weakened so language has power choose your words very carefully sometimes when we talk yes we use that language but then you should be aware that when i say i am angry i am fearful that does not really mean i so you can say anger is there fear is there old habits are appearing this instantly brings awareness you can see it right now a little bit of detachment distance yourself from the mental activity and the language will help you immensely vipin is saying snakes are species depicted in lower layer according to ancient layer model recently saw a snake how this even can be interpreted in the light of this knowledge in terms of memory structures entity world's bodies if it appeared in my experience how layers can com- communicate it just as so that model could be grasped with more clarity for kindly explain any other valid example well, i don't think that uh, there are snakes in the lower layers it is all symbolic it is all symbolic the snakes live below the ground and uh, <laughs> that is what they could imagine about the creatures that may be found in the lower layers lower than earth that is not lower layer actually that will be called the lower worlds so if you see a snake that is from our world nothing to do with the layers in the lower worlds there can be creatures in other worlds Now, who cares the whole existence is stuffed with creatures of different kinds so probably they are symbolizing these things by snakes so if this you saw a snake it is from our world the poor creature is from our world only and it means nothing specific on the path of knowledge it means nothing it was just a snake roaming around, roaming around so if you are in the kundalini tradition then the, this is auspicious symbol not on the path of knowledge in the kundalini tradition as soon as you start the kundalini practice or you are given the energy transfer uh, you see snakes around you especially the black one the long ones the 10 feet long snakes then it is considered very auspicious it is just a sign from the existence or the guru field that it has worked for you that is your path now the devi has taken the form of the snake just to remind you that i am there and they will appear i mean there is no doubt in my mind that uh, you are on the path of kundalini snakes will get attracted to such seekers 
they don't harm you they simply look at you and they go away so those who want more information can look at uh, sadguru jaggi vasudev's videos he loves snakes and he talks a lot about snakes i don't have that kind of knowledge obviously I'm referring you to sadguru jaggi vasudev a lot of knowledge there but you see that knowledge is also mysterious and uh, nothing useful will be told to you if you are on the kundalini path just look at them appreciate say thank you and move on no need to make them pets no need to invite them in your house number 2 after death rebirth happens according to desires by the way there are many big snakes where i live and i keep i mean i keep seeing them all the time after death rebirth happens according to desires is there a chance for birth to happen in the lower layer once birth happened as a human or just human birth again or some higher state means evolution is upward only yes mostly the evolution is upward only but if your uh, actions are not good then uh, the impressions that you get are also a similar kind and the impressions decide where the birth will happen so if your life has been mostly animalistic like you are a consumer only and you are uh, some kind of uh, let us say criminal then uh, it is guaranteed that you will be demoted to some lower life form i call it progressive recycling probably there is a mention of it in our videos somewhere but it is explained in lot of uh, detail on my podcast on the on in the episodes of reincarnation there are three or four talks on reincarnation you should listen to them i call it the progressive recycling which means the progress is mostly upwards this uh, whole causal body it progresses upwards but because of the wrong deeds or you can say wrong influences sometimes uh, the actions are not really good and they form bad impressions and uh, what happens is naturally they are recycled back in the old uh, yonis old womb whatever you call it old forms lower forms and uh, there the clean up happens or whatever desires are there animalistic desires whatever violence it is played out and they again progress to the higher ones and if they are also they do not perform nicely then they are even recycled even below that form lower form so from humans to mammals then mammals to reptiles and so on then uh, they become trees and grass and something <laughs> it's possible but uh, very rare very rare as soon as we come in the human level it will be one in a million case which will be recycled back one in a million even if you do something really bad you will take a birth in human form the tendency is very strong to be human that tendency is very strong so only that the birth happens in a very bad condition this is called the karmic returns so there you have your answers it was a nice satsang and i hope everybody enjoyed it everybody got their answers and hopefully you are enjoying the program also and i'll meet you next time thank you very much for att- attending the meeting